Hi everyone, it's Miss Debbie. I miss you so much. I haven't seen you for so long, but I wanted to tell you a story. And since I can't be with you and you can't be with me, I've asked some of my at-home friends to join me so that we can tell a story about Jesus. And it, our story today starts with a question between Peter, Jesus' disciple, and Jesus. Matthew wrote down this conversation between Jesus and his disciple Peter. Then Peter came to Jesus and asked, Lord, how often should I forgive someone who sins against me? Seven times? No, not seven times, Jesus replied. Seventy times seven. <gasps> what? thought Peter. Peter probably thought he was being very generous by saying he could forgive someone seven times. A lot of rabbis who were the Jewish religious leaders at the time said it was plenty to forgive someone three times. Peter's guess was he thought he was being awfully kind by saying seven times. But Jesus has a different idea of what forgiveness looks like. So he told this story to show Peter what he meant. Jesus told Peter, the kingdom of heaven is like a king who decided to collect the money his servants owed him. One servant owed the king 10,000 coins, but the servant didn't have enough. You owe me 10,000 coins, but I don't have enough. I'll never be able to pay it. Please, please be patient with me and I'll try to do my best to pay it. The king thought that Everything the servant owned should be sold, and the money would be used to pay the king what the servant owed. But the servant fell on his knees again and begged, Please, please be patient with me. I'll pay you everything I owe. The king felt sorry for the servant, so he told the servant he didn't have to pay. All right, I'm going to have mercy on you and forgive you for all of your debt. You don't have to pay a thing. Oh, thank you, thank you, thank you. Later that same day, the servant found another servant who owed him just a few dollars. The servant came up to him and said, you owe me $100. And the other servant said, oh no, please have mercy on me. I'll try to do it. I'll try to pay you back. But he said, no, no, I won't and he threw that other servant in jail. The other servants in the field saw all that went on and they went to tell the king. The servants came to the king and told him everything that happened. We saw him be mean to the servant and he made him go to jail and he didn't forgive him his debt. Wait, is that really true? And he called the servant back to talk to him. Did you really tell them? Did you really tell that servant that he couldn't be forgiven his debt when I had mercy on you? I thought you would have mercy on him. He said, but, 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 I'm going to have to send you to jail now. So the important part of our story is to remember to try to forgive each other 490 times. And if we can't do it all 490 times, to please ask Jesus for some help. How about if we do that now, friends? Let's say a prayer. Everybody fold your hands. That's it, you've got it, you've got it. Dear God, thank you for the gift of forgiveness. Help us to remember to let go of our angry feelings and forgive others 490 times with your help. All this we pray in your name. Amen. See you next time.